Hey, 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 everybody! Welcome back to yet some more Cryptopolis. I hey. am staring <laughs> deeply, oh sorry, no. longingly, lovingly through my telescope, spyglass oh. specifically, Isaac. Yeah. I, went, I had to scroll over it to double check what it was called. Uh, the, uh, the the amazing Isaac. Hello, sir. Welcome back to hell. Um, Welcome quite back. Quite nice, all <laughs> things considered. Um, you gotta be careful, man. YouTube's new monetization policies. You know how to say bad words in the first like no, eight seconds not, of the video, you? right? Yeah, Jeez. yeah, yeah. I'm ho hopefully, I I put enough filler in there, Isaac. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to hello, everybody. Hey, everybody. That's Welcome. What I meant to say. <laughs> Welcome back to heck. <laughs> 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 oh man, it is, yeah, it's crazy because it, it's it's they detect like bleeping as well, which I yeah. thought was quite funny. You can't mm -hmm. even do that. We need to find another uh, another sound effect, Isaac. Like a, can't do anything, man. Yeah, no, like a like a <laughs> something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Nick, you know, you and I known for our um, excessive cursing at the start of the I know, right? Our abusive so, um, language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. So I know it's. Gonna get demonetized yeah, out there at the wazoo, man. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so we have just been down, Nick, for a rather traumatic fight with the lava monsters. We have. It turns out that our Lord and Savior Ben and Ben Two has uh, has given us the ability to eat fungal salad and become immune to lava monsters and their the, the water they swim in, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Making it actually very easy to get these null shards, man. Exactly. Like we've got between us probably like four stacks. So yeah, yeah right. pretty good. Pretty good. So because I was wondering when we we're looking at the quest book earlier, I was like, gosh, if you get like one shard per monster or two shards per right. monster and then you only get one ingot or you get like quarter of an ingot out of them because you need four shards. I was like, geez, or three shards or whatever it is. I was like, what the hell are we going to do? But no, we get absolutely loads, man. You so, get so um, many. And just yeah, think, if we get like, good. you know, if we get looting or something on a sword, yeah, we can multiply uh, on that. We can go oh, crazy be, on that, man. We're going to be just drowning in shards, oh, is it? which is not a sentence I thought I'd say today, to be honest. Um, no? But I should have guessed. Uh, so give it a Ben pack. It looks like, Nick, the... Can I, can I use this as fuel? You can't burn crimson blanks? Excuse me, Ben. No, but you can't, you can't burn crimson planks. It's you okay. burn scorched potatoes. No, no, though, I, I, I put a. Oh, you can. I put a piece of coal in though, which is what's burning currently. Um, right. But you can. Oh, you okay. are right. You can say. burn the, the potatoes. Anyway, um, I think I have everything it takes, Nick, to make the um, the pestle and mortar. Okay, so this is our route to coloured lava, right? This whole shebang. Yeah. Look how small okay. it is, man. Oh, you tiny look at little guy. That. Looks like something from the Victorian era that you'd take a dump in. You probably. So, do I just drop these in? Do I right click. Oh no! Right click. One, oh, two, hello. three, oh, four, goodness. five. Oh whoa, my! Whoa! It's it's enchanted. It doesn't. It? Look at that high quality animation. Oh god! That's actually that's pretty good, man. It is, isn't it? <laughs> it's incredible. Oh, oh look lovely. at that! You get you get some null dust. Oh my goodness! One, two, nothingness. Three, four, five. Look at that. Oh goodness me! And the fact that the shards move and everything—that's oh, oh, it's brilliant. It's uh, RTX on, man. Gee, that, that is RTX <laughs> on, isn't it? Flipping heck! <laughs> Holy crap! So oh. okay, on the other side of things, if we take some of our weeping vines, we can craft those into string. Craft that string into wool. Mm, drop the then... white wool into the cleansing water. Which blue, is easier said than done now because I'm going to try and block off the, oh right, the hole, right? Yeah. Do we need a second cleansing well. hole, Isaac? Oh yeah. There oh no, it uses it. Like to make the soaked right. wool, it used the, it the, used water. the water. Yeah. Oh right. Okay, that's interesting. And then um, I dry the soaked wool on the wreck. Okay. To get the so the, lamp, the blue in. dye, I think. Yeah. Okay. It takes fifty right. seconds. Jeez. Jeez. So that that then gets mixed with some other bits to get some other stuff, right? So Very we need yes. So we need red, green, and blue dye by the looks of it, because and white dye because that's going to allow us to make the RGB core, yeah, which is what we need, right? So red dye we get by putting two beats into and not you know Dr. Dre beats. We're talking about just like regular no, no, no. Uh, food, just regular beats. like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There Here we go, we look go. at this. Boom, they're grinding down. That's oh, gonna yeah, get us that. red dye. Then the lime dye we can make by putting cactus green and white dye into here as well. So for that, white dye we can get from bone meal, right? I think you can just craft bone meal into white dye, usually. Yeah. But in this pack, that's not the case. In this pack, 
we, you guessed it, need two of them in the pencil of and course. mortar. Uh, of do we course. not have, do you have any bone meal, man? I do not have any bone Oh, so it's, can... it's calcite. We've got a hammer calcite. Here we go. Right. Like this. There Easy. There we go, okay. And then we drop it in, like that. Uh, and by not drop it, I mean right click, like that. Oh, okay. there we go, nice. Now, the hardest one is probably going to be... Oh, no, this is fine, you know, that gets us white dye. But then we need to combine that with cactus green to get lime dye, right? And the what? cactus green is made by putting... So we could... Normally, you can use a, a cactus for this. And we do have an ability to, to make a cactus, but it looks like that's not what we do. We have to combine yellow dye and blue dye to get cactus green. Yellow dye we get from potatoes in the pestle and mortar, and blue dye we get from that uh, that wall, that blue wall soaking situation over there. Right. Okay. Right. So I've got some potatoes here. So yeah. Right. Like two of those like. in there. Yeah. Oh yeah, two of them. Right. There we go. So one, you got this. two, bang. You got any uh, any logs, man? Ah, look at that. Oh, I don't have any logs. All my logs were turned into crimson planks, right. unfortunately. Do I have any saplings, though? We got some in the oh, chest. It's all right. Okay, yeah, don't, nice. Don't the trouble is yeah, getting rid of the freaking, uh, like, glow shroom bits, right? Yeah, because they're all separate, aren't they? Yeah, and right. They don't come together. The yeah, yeah. It's annoying. But that's probably oh. where we want to try and maybe speed run the botany pots. Right? So we don't have to deal with actually putting any of this down at all. Yeah, right? Yeah, okay. I think that uh, would be ideal. So, oh, so blue dye is, blue dye is annoying. Blue dye is annoying, Isaac, because... <laughs> People are telling us that if we throw the wool into flowing water, it will work and won't eat up the sauce block. Oh, right. So we need to, okay. un unverified, Nick, but... Um, unverified. Verification but, in process. Yeah, okay. Unverified, right. but this user has played for Twitter Blue, so... Verified. So therefore verified. For pay, pay, PTF, PTV, Isaac, pay to verify. I feel like um, it's... It, <laughs> I've been on, I was on Twitter the other day, and if you click on someone's profile, and they have got a verified ticket, if you click on it, it just says they paid for Twitter Blue, which I feel like is the biggest out of all, right? Is that... It actually, like... It actually says, says... It says this person... Like, you have to click on the verified tick, but if you click yeah. on it, if it's like an old verified account, it's like, this person is verified from... It says something like, uh, this account is a legacy verification it may no longer be relevant and then if, if someone pays for twitter blue actively it just says this person played uh, paid for twitter blue and that's why they're verified which that i feel is like hilarious. it's just the biggest <laughs> out of all right? yeah that's that's quite funny <laughs> if i, I feel like it just defeats the purpose of, of paying for that, yeah <laughs> like that's that's what everyone's like taking the mick out for yeah right, right. Yeah, it just means you know instantly that somebody has paid for it yeah yeah oh dear oh dear oh dear that is very interesting i can confirm that i've not paid for twitter blue isaac um, no just saying yeah no me just neither, just man. uh covering my back um but i mean yeah, you don't I see, uh, I've, I've been scrolling through twitter as well there's so many just ticks and ticks and i'm just are. like you don't trust it anymore no. isaac you don't trust so, it anymore but they show up at the top of replies man they're always the first ones now. Oh, if you check a reply, right. the first the bunch the first replies are always verified accounts, and they're always people who've just paid for the for Twitter. Yeah, um, gosh. Okay. my Twitter algo is just like it's it's it knows what I don't want to see, but will click on all yes. those stupid threads. Yeah, like I don't I don't want to see all of that, but I'm gonna tap on them anyway, which is exactly why it's learned that about me, and it's so annoying. Ah. Just, uh, just don't click on it, man. Don't click yeah, on it. Yeah, I mean, I'm just... using. I'm not gonna lie. I my Twitter usage has fallen off a cliff recently. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not, not. Is that all? Uh, all on Elon? Is, 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 he, is he throwing yeah. you off, man? Yeah, he's he's, he's he's throwing me off, Isaac. He's subliminally throwing me off. Because he wouldn't. He didn't uh, verify you instantly he when, he, yeah, when he took yeah, over. Yeah, I, right. I had to pay for my verification. <laughs> that's why. If, he, if, he, if I got one of the natural celeb verifications, man, I'd yeah. be. Oh, all right. For it. I'd be all for There's like it. nine different types of verification now, though, man. I, I, <laughs> you open Twitter, and there are like some icons are like square if they're for business, and then there's like oh yeah, other, like yellow ones. There's like well, a gold and verification like, badge and like a grey one for government. So oh, it's like, what is the what are we doing so here? Why? <laughs> come on, please, please, why? Oh, man. oh. It's too much, Isaac. It's too much. You're telling me, oh, man. God. Yeah, it's quite. It's become a little bit of a calamity, hasn't it? 
it's like, yeah, this is this is that kind of verification. This is that kind of verification. This is that kind well, of Well, it's like, it's a system where you're like, okay, you can pay to be verified, but then as soon as you implement that system, you've got to implement a new system where you actually verify people who are actually verified because yeah. everybody else has got this other verification badge. So you take away all of the meaning of the old verification yeah. badge. Yeah. And it's just yeah. at that point, why pay for it? <laughs> it's exactly. no sense. Exactly. <laughs> Unless oh, you want to support dude. Elon in his, uh, in his Twitter endeavors. In which I case, mean... You know, you might want to, to be fair. So yeah, right. there you go. I mean, he's no longer the richest man in the world, man. So you know, he's he's no, quite struggling. No, he's not. You know, he's, he's down got bad. A Guinness World Record for not being the richest man in the world. Today. Like most There's money the, lost or something. Most, most yeah, <laughs> most wealth, quote unquote, lost in uh, said period of time. I was like, yeah, fair enough. Um, here we go. Oh yeah. All you right. think you can beat him, man? You think you can get more wealth lost? Yeah. I reckon I can do it. Can I just get such a big negative balance that it beats Elon, right? Maybe yeah. I'll go on like uh, uh, mystical character name based trading platform and do like 10,000 dex leverage on something that's going well, to go the other way. I and mean, then boom. As somebody who's not, um, I don't own a business, Nick, like not one that trades on the stock market anywhere. No. Right? So like, Usually, the way they determine somebody's wealth, right, is they look at the number of, like, shares that they own of a certain company. In, like, mm -hmm. Elon's case, it's mostly Tesla, right? They look yeah. at his Tesla shares, and they say, okay, he has this many Tesla shares. The Tesla shares are worth this much. Ergo, Elon Musk is worth $200 billion, right? Correct. That's, what, that's yeah. the, the, the way they go about it. That's so it. what if we start a company, Nick, where you and I own all of the shares, and we float them on the stock market, but just at, like, $7 billion a share? And we yeah. initially start with like a hundred million shares. Do we instantly become the wealthiest people on the planet? Probably. Yeah, we could get away with that. <laughs> How does that work yeah. though? Like, what if? <laughs> I mean, that's why. That's why generally the net worth calculations are always not Odd. what they seem. Yeah. Right. And a lot of people think when they see net worth, they just think that person has that much money in their bank account. Yeah. Which right. Which wouldn't be the case. They'd have to liquidate to do that. And if you liquidate that much before you could get anywhere close, it would crash. And that's yeah, right. Wealth lost. But if we did that, Isaac, we could do that, and then we could tank the share, and then we could beat Elon's Guinness World Record, <laughs> right? And then get That's sued by it. and then get sued by whoever bought the share from us for, yeah. for investor <laughs> yeah, fraud. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we don't sell it to each other, but, but we <laughs> we sell it to just someone. <laughs> Some sounds like Warren Buffett. Like, Yo, Warren, <laughs> listen, bro. Like, this is really good. Mick and Isaac Hick. Um, yeah, 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 exactly. And then boom, sorted. Um, <laughs> so it's like the opposite of how people try and get game the system right. right. We're trying to do it to lose that amount of money rather than <laughs> actually gain it, which I like. Which I like. Right. Oh dear. So I have some some blue diamond. I assume you have some as well. Oh, oh you got lime you, die as well. Yes, Beautiful. I've got the lime die. Yes. Okay. All right. So now we need. So it says water can be made by crushing a warped wart block using a scorched hammer. So warped wart block we have, and if we break that using a scorched hammer, let me get a, a bucket real quick so I can scoop this up as needed. So we take okay. this scorched hammer, break it. Okay. Hold on. Maybe like this. Oh, oh, you right click. Oh, yeah, I, was, I oh. thought so, but. <laughs> oh. oh, well, we've that... got two. Oh. Oh. It's making sound, but it's not doing anything all the way down. Like until it gets to the bottom, but now we have a little lava platform. Well, I made the platform, Obsidian. Isaac. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit too late, but. Uh, right, okay. Um... Okay. Interesting. But anyway, so we need one blue dye, which I have, one red dye, which I have, one lime dye, which you have, one null dust, which we have. And then another white die. So we need, um, oh no, I have a white die. Okay, so I think we're good to go, man. Uh, do you have nice. a lime, you've got a lime die, right? I got a lime die, got a lime okay. die. Okay, if you come over here, I'm gonna block this off again so things don't move. But blue, white, red. Oh, I need to do this all at once. Can you drop your lime in there, man? I can, yeah, there you go. And then step back. Yeah, and we'll do this, 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 and this. Whoa! Hey, we got a, look at that. Oh. It glows with the, the, <laughs> it changes color Whoa. if you leave it on the ground, man. It just, it RGBs. Oh, look at that. Look at That's that. Brilliant. I need that Ooh. in my computer, Isaac. <laughs> right? Oh. RGB core. Beautiful. Look at that. Okay. So then, right. apparently we've already got lime lava. I don't know how we've managed to, to swindle that one. That oh, it's just because you have- from this craft here, uh, perhaps. So the, the, the quest just wants you to have- um, the lime die is, is the reason why that's completed. Oh, okay, I see. And then if you just get any of the other dies, though, all of those respective quests will complete as well. Yes, okay. I see. So do you still have a lime die? 
I do, yes. Oh, interesting, okay. So I think I made two, like when I did create the die, I got two. So um, I, I, I don't know why there's a quest to pick the, oh no, I guess I do know why there's a quest to pick the water. So we can make an, a water source tier one with four smooth stone, two glass and two sturdy wooden water buckets. So could you smelt for me, Nick, four stone? Four stone, yes, absolutely. Thank you. Do we have very much appreciate it. Yeah, we've got loads. I'm All gonna right, grow some go. and get some more wood. But yeah, no, we do need to talk about those body pots, man. Those are uh, need to be high Tell on the list what, of things to do. These uh, these potatoes, they last a surprisingly long amount of time as a fuel source. Oh nice. Yeah. So there you go. That's just free fuel effectively by just sifting your um lava balls. Uh, which is yeah, that's good. Okay. Sifting cool. your lava balls. Sifting your lava balls. Again, not a sentence I thought I'd say <laughs> today. <laughs> Oh, I do like this though, man. It's a nice, um, as with these Ben packs, and I guess in this case, Ben 2 packs. Yeah. A nice kind of differentiation, right? To the whole resource and ore generation games. Like, we've not seen this before. So. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a different, a new way, Nick. A new of, way. Uh, of making things happen. Um, I need a limestone. Do we happen to have a limestone lying around? Uh, oh, I've got a limestone. Here you go. Could so you, you need it. Right click it on the cutting board. Yes, yeah, there you go. There you are. Yeah, perfect. Because that way I can do one of these and then I can smelt this. Oh, you need a glass. Okay, I see. I've got these four smooth stones as well if you need them. There yes, I do need those. Thank you. Okay, That's going to get us cool. this uh, infinite water. I don't know what getting an infinite water source is going to do for us, right? Like, it's not an infinite cleansing water source. It's just like an infinite regular no. water source. I don't know what Cat. that's going to be useful for, but... Will there be some kind of method to turn regular water into an alternative water? Maybe. In the future, maybe. Because then that kind of makes it a little bit easier than the current uh, setup that we've got, where you have to do a few bits to get, like, a cleansing water. And yeah, look at that. It's, yeah. it's full. Lovely. So we can just take water out of that and it comes back again? in the future, right? Yeah, I see that, nice, okay. Okay, it just make a tier one water source, okay. But so now the trouble is that we need lava, right? Because now we need to, and we probably need to set up an area. So I think the good news, I would assume, I would assume that the lava doesn't disappear. So do you have, Nick, um, a lime dye? You said yes, right? I do, yeah. Okay, so if we were to put the lava here and you were to drop that lime dye in. Okay, there it is. <laughs> um, <laughs> Slowly floats to the top. Oh, no, okay, hold on. I think we have to put an RGB core in there as well. It says made okay. by tossing lime dye plus color core. Okay. Color core. Is a color core dye core? Or is it like a specific. I assume it means RGB core. Let's have a look at that. If I press U on this. Yeah, okay. So we do need. We need a lot of RGB cores then. Is the RGB core. Does it get used? I think so, That's yeah. That's what I was wondering. So I think we throw in like an RGB core and a lime dye, and that makes green lava. Okay. But right. the RGB core has been used, right? It has been used, But right. I think now the green lava oh, doesn't get used. And so we okay. just drop, like, that's just, that's zinc, right? I got 30 that's zinc. That's done now, yeah. Like, that's that's the zinc pool, effectively. Yes. So just throw shots. Oh, I see. I just, I don't know how. Oh. Uh, mistakes were made, Nick. Um, oh, no, what I happens? crafted the zinc shards into into zinc shard blocks, and you can't break these down without a crusher. So we'll just put oh, those no. away until we're... <laughs> okay. But, like, for example, <laughs> if I later. get if I get three zinc shards... Here we go. You can craft three zinc shards into just a zinc ingot. Oh, that's nice that you can just craft them straight up. Okay, cool. So I think what we're going to want to do... I assume I can pick this up and put it back down. I'm going to be annoyed if I can't, Ben. Ah! Oh, oh, <laughs> it's lava, the Ben! Sounds, the it's sounds. lava! Jeez! Oh, Benjamin! Oh, the... <laughs> oh no. Oh. Anyway, so we need to get one, yeah. two, three, four, five lava cores, right? And then we yes. need to set up an area, I think, where we're going to permanently keep our five little pools of lava. Yeah, to get our... Uh, respective resources to, from that exactly right yeah and then we can make copper nickel coal zinc and iron with all of the the stuff there right yeah and then for the yeah. chapter challenge here man they um they want us to kill 16 lava monsters we've killed 10 so far they want us okay. to hand in 32 zinc 32 iron 32 nickel 32 copper and then 32 of each of the following we want cactus potatoes beetroots carrots apples sugarcane and warped kelp and if we do all of that nick we get our obsidian skull 
which is like a trinket we can put in our belt slot. It says the wearer becomes temporarily immune to fire damage when hurt by fire. And we oh. also get the universal attractor, which also goes in the belt, which I assume is going to be a magnet that can pull mm. all of the stuff we want to us next. So, yes, okay. That's fantastic. So we want to complete this. We want to complete this. Yes. Good. Can I give you yeah. then, Nick? People are telling me that the, the the better way of doing this is with um, is with uh, is with warped. We don't have any right any um. Any uh, of the other vine, like we're using weeping vines, which are the red one. There's a blue alternative that I don't know the name of. Blue one is wow, right? Yeah. People tell me that one's faster. Someone Ben said it's a bug. Hashtag Ben. Hashtag Ben too. Oh no, we got we got we got Ben. We got Ben two Ben two boozled. We got Ben. Yeah, we got Ben X two. We got Ben boozled and two Ben boozled. Oh. Okay. We got Ben Toozled. <laughs> yeah, we did. Are you thinking then to like start? Oh no, you're just breaking those blocks. I see, I see. Okay. Yeah. We got oh, all this stop. Don't do that, Isaac. No, yeah, I did that earlier. It saves time, man. It saves time. No, but um, I almost ultimated to get down, and then I realized the floor is also made of that, and that would have been very bad. Like, I used Warp Nylium to grow, to oh, nerd pull up. Oh, right. I see, I see. <laughs> yes, yes. Best avoided that. Um, uh, right. We're looking for vines around here somewhere. Yeah, but I don't see any, right? No. It's possible we I can assume... bone meal it, maybe, but... I've got a bone meal. I'll give it a go. Yeah, give it a try. Someone said bone meal. Yeah, I don't know. Give it a try, man, but I don't think it's going to do it. No, it's Maybe just bone meal, the, bone meal the stem? Or the ground? Mm. Bone meal... Oh, there we go. No, I Warped like. roots. But this is not better, chat, right? Like, also, can't we can't do, anything, this. can't do anything with these. Can I, can I put these on here? What's the point of this? Bone meal the warp nylium on the ground doesn't grow on trees. Oh, the big one on the right. Nether sprouts? Warped roots. I'm so confused as to what in the world um. chat wants us to do. I have <laughs> nether sprouts. These are also not what we want. Um, yeah, so man, if you come over here, I'll give you the yeah. uh, the shears. If you could just uh, keep yeah. shearing this, uh, just shifting and shearing. Yeah, okay. All right. Shift and shear, Isaac. Shift and shear. Go. Here's a few shears. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. It's this, uh, yeah, that bad boy over there. All right. Here yeah, go. exactly. Yeah, just shift and, and shear the bottom, not the top. Yes. Okay. There yeah. We go. I'm going to oh, block yeah. you in as well, just to make sure you don't lose too much. Oh, yeah, yeah. On nice. the backside, like if I do you know, something like this. Yeah, lovely. Got oh, a, little, right. a lovely wall. That'll get oh. us all of the, the blue dye we're going to need, right? Uh, okay, because it's going to keep getting us the wall, uh, which is yes. fine. Um, in that case, then, if we need more RGB cores, the red dye is super easy. It's just beats. And again, we need what? One, two, three, four, five RGB cores. Okay, so we need a lot of beats. That's fine. Okay. Should actually get a pretty decent amount uh, just from the, the the lava sifting, right? You know the challenge quest? When we hand in the goods, does it consume it? Or do we just need them on our purse? I think it consumes it, man. Okay, right. Like actively taken away. Right. Which is um is the unfortunate. Beats thing would be good if if it didn't. Yes. Right, here we go. Uh, oh, that didn't work. Right. Okay. We'll try that again. Okay, Nick. Come c cancel. Control Z. Hi. Undo. Hi. I've cracked it. Don't know what Twitch chat was trying to tell us oh. about other nonsense, but um, you can craft three warped warp blocks into this. If you vein my, if you cheer the one above the bottom one. Ah. You should get a few and then, sh yeah, there you go, you cracked it. Oh, <laughs> that should okay, be better. Right. Okay. And then it's, it's the same three to one crash, I think, yeah. So this is like uh, sugar canes, effectively, like, yeah, okay. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. Okay. All right, nice. Right. Yeah, this is this is much more lucrative, Isaac. Yeah, there we go, 29. What are we getting green oh. dye from? Oh, yeah, yellow and blue dye, I see. Okay, and the yellow dye is just the potatoes, right? That's fine. Yeah, you just get your flipping color palette out, man, honestly. Oh, this way, man. I this my... mixes with this, this mixes with this, mortar and pestle, this mixes with that. So, oh, right. you and I, Nick, we're known occasionally for, um, for, for, we're known kind of primarily as, um, as a Minecraft food podcast, right? We are. We are. And... I knew this, you were going to say food. As soon as you said we're known for, it's like food. <laughs> And uh, I was at the supermarket the other day, man. And mm -hmm. I came across some... The, 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 I was at an Asda, right? Yeah. Um, it's not my normal supermarket, but I was wandering yeah. through. And I came... I was just walking down an aisle. And I came across a product like that I've never seen before. Go and on. that intrigued me. 
And that product was camel milk. Oh my god. There was a little, like, um, carton, right? It was like a little cylindrical carton that said camel milk on it. Right. And I was like, who, why is this so, this must be popular. The fact that they're selling it in a mainstream supermarket, right? Made me think that there must be enough people buying it to justify the, the, the continued existence of the camel milk, right? Right. Yeah. But that's, buy any? it's wild, man. Why would there be some, why would there be camel milk? So I've seen a few things on this. Right. Um, a lot of big supermarkets um, will often stock really, really rogue things. Is it to get people um, through the door, maybe? Just... Because that's what... So, so let's say the one person in that area who loves camel milk. <laughs> loves like, it. Like, that, that will sway them to go to Asda and yes. do all of their... And do their weekly shop at Asda, right? Yeah, sure. And it's containing loads of different rogue, rogue things that will sway a lot of people who just... But there's diminishing returns on that, right? Like, there's... Because you, you have to take up inventory space and store space on something that might otherwise be more widespread appealing right yeah sure i think i think they crunched like the numbers on this kind of thing have been crunched and it's worth doing right because right? as soon as they remove the camel milk like <laughs> the the hundred people in in the entirety of yorkshire who go to that asda and get the camel milk won't go anymore and if each of if those 100 people spend 50 pounds a week on their weekly shop right right then that's what, like five grand a week, right? In like revenue loss, and yeah. that's you know times that for the year, right? Two hundred and fifty k, and that is worth stocking the camel milk, right? Like right. if you stock ten bottles of camel milk, and they have a shelf life of let's say a week, I don't know how long camel milk lasts. Right. That's it's worth stocking them, right? And that's kind of the scale that we're talking about. Yeah, I saw a thing on this. So that's why, like, there's a few things. Like, I used to go to um, a Morrison's, and I, I used to be swayed by the Morrison's just because they had, like, the breakfast items that I liked eating. And right. then I kind of went off that breakfast eat item and I stopped going to Morrison's. But, and, and then I started shopping at Sainsbury's. But now I've noticed, actually, Sainsbury's has that breakfast item. So now I'd be swayed to Sainsbury's, even though I was fairly neutral before, right? Yeah. Um, this breakfast item being these like Spanish potato tortilla things, which are really nice. Uh, and I like having for breakfast because they're easy to make. Right. Um, so yeah, I think that's why. I am, um, did you buy any camel's milk? No, of course it? I did, I have it right here. Excellent. I have a little, uh, a little Let's have bottle a look. of camel milk. It says, uh, it's from the brand Camelicious and it says long life whole camel milk. No semi-skimmed, no 2%. This is full. That's that. That is the creamy stuff. Camel milk. It's um. Look at that. It's a. Uh, it's like UHT, so it's pasteurized and, and long okay, life. So there you go. Long shelf life, right? Even more of a reason to stock it. Shake Isaac. well before use, man. You shake the hell out of that stuff. Here we go. I'm looking forward to this. I'm intrigued. So I've had it in the fridge for about a week now. Um, it does not go bad until March. So I've got a few months on this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That stuff is, you know, that's not going off anytime soon. Emirates Camel Goodness, eh? It says net content, oh 235 milliliters. Stuff. Look at that. So it's, it's in like a little kind of, it's, it's, the, the can is made of cardboard. It's not like a, a, a can can. Like this is like oh, a, a right. cardboard. This is not, this is soft, right? It's um, like a cartan. Yeah, it's a exactly. Cartan okay. it's, got, it's got a peel, a peel top. Oh, yep. And then he just peels it and then there's milk oh, there. Oh my okay. goodness. Right. So give it a smell, Isaac. I am doing, What's yeah. What's it smell like? It doesn't, it doesn't smell of anything. Like it's Probably got a very, a very faint smell, smell, but mostly just like cardboard, I think, <laughs> which is not uh, okay. Yeah, fair enough, saying, actually. Saying much. I wonder what the fat percentage is on this thing. I'd be intrigued as well, actually. I have no idea. Oh no, hold on. Fat, two point eight grams per hundred mil. Oh, so it's like semi skim, right. I think. Right? It's not. Yeah. It's not quite yeah. whole milk levels, but. Here we go. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> It's not good at all. Right. Okay, <laughs> right. <laughs> he's not he's not become a convert. I expected people. it to be to be quite mild in flavor. Right? I was yeah, when you said camel's milk, I was thinking, I was like, oh god, that's gonna be that's gonna be like quite a strong taste, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, it's hard right, to describe. describe the taste. I was going to say describe as best as you can what that tastes like. Um, if you can imagine what um milk that has come out of a camel would taste like, that's that's right. <laughs> that's okay, that's exactly it's exactly how you envisioned. Is I, um, what you're saying. It's just, it's very strong. Way stronger than I thought it would be. It's got the milk yeah. consistency to it, which is not great. Right. But like, yeah. I, I, the, the word that's coming to my mind is sour, but it's not really sour. Like, it doesn't taste like it's bad. Like, I assume it's- Off? It's, it not, I don't think it's off. Like, like I don't it, think the actual okay. product is off, but it tastes no, like no, a no, little- no, 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 no. It tastes but, like milk that's a little off. <laughs> right, it tastes like regular cow's milk that's gone a little bit dodgy. Maybe, yeah. Like. If your regular milk tasted like this, you would not continue drinking, <laughs> right? Right. Um, I've got a thing for that as well. As soon as regular milk even gets a hint of that taste, I'm like, nah, I don't want any more. Um, Isaac doesn't recommend. Acrid is is a word used in the chat. Would you say that's an accurate description? I Isaac? do not know if I've ever used the word acrid to describe something. Yeah. Does that sound like a word that could be used to describe this camel? <laughs> I'm going to Google it real quick. Acrid. Unpleasantly bitter or pungent. I would say so. More so on the pungent side of things. It's not bitter. But no, pungent, no. I think, is, is a good word to use there. It's right. pungent. It's very, uh, it's very interesting. Yeah, no, I was um I had higher hopes for that. Like, you could probably use it quite effectively in something. I imagine it's probably actually quite nice in cooking. Like if you were using it as a substitute for in, yeah, some kind like of cream or milk quantities. or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe for more savory things. Perhaps. That's the thing. I wouldn't put it in my uh, cereal, but no, right, um, okay. but a savory dish I could see. I could see putting that in, right? Right. Um, but I give it like a ooh. As far as milks go, it gets like a two out of ten. As far right, as like okay, all drinks, high. as far as all drinks go, it gets maybe like a like a four. Like it's fine. Wow. But uh, this but, is highly interesting. So now we know why it. camel's milk is not stored in. Uh, <laughs> Most shops. But I wonder uh, what it's. I wonder what it's. I wonder who's buying it. I want to know. Let us know in the comments yeah, if you have a some, purchase. Someone Camel's will milk. be into it, man. Someone will be into it. What's that really pungent cheese? Is it goat's cheese? I think it might be right. A goat's cheese is, is a lot of pungent. Goat's, che goat's cheese. There's some kind of cheese. It's, it's, it's a pungent, and I'm not into it at all. Oh, and yeah. I imagine. I quite like goat's your... cheese actually. Oh, you never tried it? No, I said I like goat's cheese. Oh, you like it? You know how goat's cheese is a little bit. Goat's cheese is very a, soft. And it's got a bit of a taste to it. It does, yeah. I, yeah. I feel like the that is to normal feta, let's say, as to how... Or maybe mozzarella, you know. Like, or maybe little, mozzarella. Mozzarella's a little mild, cow, right, yeah? Yeah. Uh, the, maybe that's the equivalent of how the camel's milk is to cow's milk. I think you're onto um, something there. That's the thing. I could, And that's the thing. I, like, goat's cheese I would never eat just on its own. I wouldn't put it on my pizza, right? No. But, like, I would have it with like a in like an omelet or something like, well, right, right, like where it's part of a savory dish I'm, I'm all about some goats uh, some goats cheese. yeah okay interesting interesting see i'm not i don't like goats cheese i i just yeah I, something about the taste it just <laughs> doesn't vibe with me but i find that with like meat as well like i don't like like gamey meat yeah i just don't like that kind of strong flavor so i feel like i would dislike it's, camel's milk entirely but that's kind of the vibe it's weird the like the now that i've tasted it it smells exactly like it tastes, right? But prior right. to tasting it, I couldn't have... Like, I don't know if that's like my brain has unlocked the ability to be like, this is trying to remind to, like, me, like, this doesn't taste good. <laughs> yeah, to associate it, right? That's interesting. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's before, what we go really through with smell kids, much. right? With all foods. And then, yeah. you know, we're used to it now. But, but you've, because you've not done that in so long, like, it's, you've just experienced that in adulthood. Um, that's mad. That's very interesting. Next time I'm shopping, I might look up camel's milk and then, you know, dislike it. How much did that cost, Isaac? That can. It oh, wasn't oh, car very expensive. Um, maybe like a, a pound or two? Maybe two pounds? Oh, okay. It wasn't like eight pounds for the can. It wasn't right. expensive. No, it was it was very, very cheap. It's um, not like a delicacy, basically. I don't think so, no. Right. Uh, but maybe I can find wow. that online. Um, as the camel milk. How expensive. Camelicious. 325 is what... Um, the internet has the website has the downers. It's probably why I paid for it. Yeah, three twenty-five. Camelicious long life whole camel milk. So quite expensive. Maybe a delicacy at two hundred and thirty-five mil. That's that's pricey for what it is. That's quite pricey actually. Yeah. Right. You can get like um. Oof, you can get. 
you know, how many liters yeah, of like regular a, milk for that? Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, proper. You get Cravendale for that much, Isaac. <laughs> Yeah, that's interesting. Very interesting. I guess it's because of the scale of it, right? I'm sure they've not got massive farms full of camels that are just there to be milked. That's uh, the, uh, that's the price difference. I think um, keep my receipt, man. I'd like be able to, to write that one on for, as a tax deduction. Yeah, yeah, please do. <laughs> so you could be that one person that, you know, you know that one person who actually calls the support line of the foods. You know, it says, if you're not satisfied, call us <laughs> and we'll give you your money back. You're that one person going back to, I, um, to be like, I'm not satisfied. I don't there. think it says that on here, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. Oh. Oh. It'd be, a, it'd be a mystery forever, that one, Isaac. <laughs> there's, there's no phone number on <laughs> this card. <laughs> <There's nothing. laughs> oh, no, there is. I lied. I lied. Oh. It's a plus 971 number. Oh, hello. Let's have dot, a look where that's from. UAE. Oh, yeah. Made yeah, from milk. Oh, yeah. It says made from milk powder produced in the UAE. There you go. Interesting. There. Very authentic, then. Yeah, crazy. There you go. Jeez. Camel's milk. I wonder how popular Emirates it is industry in for camel UAE. milk and products. <laughs> crazy. Emirates industry. I wonder if that's like a government entity that you know, in the UAE. <laughs> it's quite interesting, that. What's um? You're drinking government milk, Isaac. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> What, I don't know what the point of having a phone number on there. Like, what would happen if I called that number? I don't think. You all through to the Here Emirates Camel Support Line. Like. <laughs> so, hello. <laughs> like, yeah, we'll ship you a new one. <laughs> yeah, we'll send you a new one. <laughs> a big, we'll send you a two-liter bottle this time. Oh, wow. That's very interesting. Oh, yeah. What's the, what the, like, the, the primary use of camel's milk? Do, is it just for drinking? Is it used specifically yeah, in some kind of recipe? Who knows? Who knows? Gosh. It must be. Like, the fact that it's it's at Asda, people must be buying it somewhat regularly, and it must be used in something, right? Yeah, surely. So I assume not. it doesn't say anything on the can, because some people like it. It's not, got a, <laughs> it's not got, like, a recipe idea or serving yeah, suggestion on it. No, yeah, it's just, got you. Okay. It's nutritional information in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different languages. Eight different languages, right. sorry. And then that's it. And then storage information in eight different languages. Interesting. Wait, oh, are you ready for this, though? Go on. What is actually in the bottleneck is ultra heat treated, reconstituted, homogenized whole camel milk made from 100% camel milk, preservative free. <laughs> you wow, know, that's a lot of, <laughs> that's a lot of processing. <laughs> when something says ultra heat treated, reconstituted, homogenized whole camel milk. It's, uh, it's a lot of it's a lot of things. It's a lot of Isaac. words. It's a lot, it's a lot of words. <laughs> that camel was, that, that milk has been through a lot of a lot of stuff. <laughs> Someone said question uh, reconstituted. I think it might mean that they powder it and then reconstitute it, like re liquefy it. Yeah. Once it's shipped, would be my guess. That, that would make sense for production, right? Yeah, because um, like shipping the actual milk in, because like and also just like storing it at a cold temperature, right? Surely is expensive. Whereas if yeah. you um. If you powder it, you could probably just send it elsewhere and then. Exactly, exactly. That's probably why it says shake well weight. before use, right? Like, no no regular milk needs to be shaken. Oh, before you use. gosh, you got a bit of cabal powder in there. Just, oh, <laughs> oh bit, bit, tastes a bit dusty, Isaac, oh. you give it a shake. Oh, dear. That's uh, <laughs> quite something, isn't it? Oh, okay. goodness. Jeez. Man. Oh. Wow, there you go. Yeah, oh. I find that with oat milk, you know. I've What's really that? got to shake the um, shake the carton See, to stop it from separating. I yeah, uh, I love oat milk, man. Yeah, same. It's good stuff. Big fan. Yeah, big right. fan. It's just the the shaking. You got to you got to shake. Make sure you shake that. If you don't shake it, and you just it's been a while, and you open it and you pour it, you just get like oat water coming out of that. That's true. And there's like oat cream at the bottom. It's the only <laughs> thing you got to watch out for. <laughs> so how much uh, how much. Are you are you working on making these blue? Yeah, the blue dye. How much yeah, blue dye have you got? Yeah, so I got these. I got I got a lot. If you look at this top chest, I got a lot of twisting vines. So these are all getting turned into string and well, then I into I wool. Need, how much blue dye you got, if any? I got four blue dye. That's actually probably perfect. I've got two. We need six, I think. So you pass me that. Excellent. Here you go. Uh, if you thought milking right. camels Here was hard, milking oats is practically impossible. Oh, yeah, jeez. <laughs> no, that's wild though. That is. I never wild, thought about camel milk. I wonder what other kind of rogue milks you can buy. Probably quite a bit. I might. I need to pay closer attention to the milk section next time I go. It wasn't I just, in the I, milk section, by the by. Was it was it in, in like, like a the world like food exactly? Like yeah, that. yeah right. right. Okay, so very. Um, it was surrounded by like a lot of um, rogue European pork products. Oh right! <laughs> My goodness me, this this Asda. 
It's a, it's a big album. It's a 24 hour one, man. I was walking around at like oh. 2 a.m. on a Friday. <laughs> nice. That's the best time, honestly. Best time to go grocery shopping, oh. man. Oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah, you were there browsing. You had all the time in the world. <laughs> I did. Like, oh, yeah. camel's milk. <laughs> yeah, why not? I used to do that. I always go to the supermarket when I'm kind of in a bit of a rush. It's the yeah. evening. I usually haven't had dinner yet. That's why I'm in a rush. Right. I need to go after I've eaten, which also means I'll buy less things, which is good. Yeah. And uh, I should just like waltz around to just have a proper look at all the rogue stuff there is there and just buy it right for this and just to consume it and feel a bit sick <laughs> during uh, during these sessions. So oh, do you have lime dye, did you say? I have... Oh, or I had a lime dye. I think I might have deposited it somewhere. Or have I? No? Yes? Did I give it to you? I don't oh, know. Oh, I don't. That's, that's fine. So I need okay. six lime dye, which means I need uh, six white dye and six green dye. And then the six green dye we get from yellow and blue. And you've given me the yellow. Uh, you give me the blue and I have the yellow. I've, okay, that's fine. I've got a green and two yellow to add to this process, right? Oh, whoops. So it's annoying this. that you can't take one thing out there. I've done that before as well. Um, is this all right? Hold on, hold on. Let me let me bookmark the um the RGB yeah, core here. Here we go. So the RGB core. So I have. We've got six blue. We've got six red. We've got six white, and we've got six null. It's just six lime, but the six lime requires white and green. Yeah, yeah. So green is. You have green, did blue. you say? I have one green. Oh, okay, and, and the I have green is two oh, it's yellow, yellow and blue. Okay, hold on. Sorry, boom yeah. and boom. Do we have more blue? We do have more blue coming up, yeah. Let keep me, the uh, keep the blue coming in, man. All right, let me do that. Uh, right, so I need to get. I can just get like a ton of blue. Here we go. If I take like twisting vines and I just get twenty string, I can get a bunch of wool, and then I can just like mass. There we go. Put six on there at a time. Um. Okay. Would you uh, would you want a camel man? That's like a pet. I I'd, I'd quite if I lived in a UAE man, I probably would. Not not even gonna lie to you. Uh, this is the wrong thing. Whoops. You think they eat camel meat then? Like a camel steak? Maybe. If they're out there milking the camels, man, like. I don't know. Like in in it's like if you go to Australia, they have yeah. like kangaroo curry, right? And like right. kangaroo kangaroo meat. Right. I, th I think they probably do, you know. Let's have a look while I'm waiting for this uh, stuff to turn into blue dye. Maybe that's it. Maybe, you know, maybe maybe I need actual ca camel meat to go with the camel milk curry, you know? Something like that, potentially. Um, red, okay. I need... You, you take up more blue? Uh, it's just drying on this hanger here okay. at the moment. Um, so there's six coming up. I've got two here. Here you go. Here is uh, two more. I think more. that's all I need. I think that's going to get me to six RGB oh, cores. Sweet. Lovely. Okay, I've got two yellow as well, if that helps at all. I don't think I need green. yellow. I think I'm good. I've got six blue, okay, six sweet. red, six green. Oh, I need six white. I've got three white. That's fine. That's just calcite. Um, yeah, okay, you, cool. you continue with your, your search. All right, here we go. I'm doing some research. Camel meat is an ethnic food consumed across the arid regions of the Middle East and Northeast Africa. And what does it taste like? I bet you it's really gamey. Oh, it tastes like lean beef. Maybe not as much oh. then. Certain cuts can be tough, and if the meat comes from an old camel, it can taste gamey, right? So basically, don't 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 eat an OAP cam camel. Um, <laughs> what, the Guardian's got an article saying anyone for camel meat, one hump or two. Oh no, it's a couple of the humps, does it? Oh, that's just liquid storage. Oh it does my it the humps, does it? God, look at that! You want to see a roast camel, Isaac? <laughs> a whole camel one? hump. There you go. Bit further oh. back. Bit further back. There we go. Oh, geez. it's a bit. It's a bit. Uh, let me turn my brightness down here. There we go. There you go. <laughs> Look at that. It's like a hump roast chicken, right? Goodness. God. Look at that. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> oh, it looks looks a bit like chicken. Actually, it looks quite nice. When are we? Uh, so when are we funding a trip to the UAE to, to for right? the documentary for where we eat yeah, camel? Yeah. If we can, <laughs> if we can get like two. If we were, if we were Mr. Beast and we could like engineer a video to get exactly 5 million views, right? <laughs> or if you missed a piece more like 50, then yeah. that would be worth it, right? We'll book our trip, 48 hours in the UAE, Isaac, six hour, 45 minute Emirates flight, boom. Probably cost us about one and a half grand all in all, maybe a bit more. Is that each or um, for the two of us? For the two of us, I oh, reckon really? we could go 750 quid each return. All right. um, or maybe even less. I'm trying to think because I've flown to, to Dubai quite a few times, but never to actually stay there. 
Um, and boom, there you go. One million views. Get like a solid ROI on that. There we go. <laughs> there you go. It's like the thumbnail. It's like a big... This is you holding a, a holding yeah. a I want I want you holding that camel that roasted me camel holding the roasted camel with like a <laughs> big red arrow pointing towards the hump being like we ate this or something like that right in the thumbnail and, uh, and there you go yeah billion make it billion worth views it. right there man oh. yeah, basically any wealthy benefactors <laughs> want to pay for Nick and I to go and try camel uh, want to in me and Isaac try camel <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you we'll give you ten percent returns <laughs> yeah, we'll put your name in the description. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Put your Instagram in the description. Yeah, don't uh, we don't offer we don't offer a rev share agreement, Nick. We only we'll offer a promotion. You, no, 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 no. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> oh. Okay. Here I'm just trying go. to get more calcite. The calcite seems to be a little, a little it's tricky. It's a little bit scarce, isn't it? Annoyingly. It is. Almost yeah, like the camel milk all of them. Yeah, exactly. God. I, wonder if it, I, wonder, I can't imagine it's that scarce. Like how many camels do they have out there? Probably more, more than Probably a few. Quite a few. Yeah, Again, right? there we go. What's the I've I've got a uh, I've got a a Google Nest on order Isaac for this room so we're gonna have like we're gonna we're gonna have that ability <laughs> soon. <laughs> I mean you've got Siri on your wrist, right? <laughs> yeah, I do have Siri on my wrist, but Siri's garbage as we all know. Isaac. <laughs> Here's what I found on the internet. How Here's many... what I found on the web. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> in the world, here we go. We we'll get the world's population because there's cows in Africa as well. 20 million. Wow. All right, so according to A to Z animals.com. A to Z animals.com. Pretty decent population, to be honest. Yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah, so if we if we eat one, Isaac, that's all right. <laughs> Pretty much not, not harming the population count at all. Ooh. If we eat one, that's all right. If we eat one, get some milk too. Oh, dear. Hello, hello. Okay. He's doing it. He's making the cause. Our RGB cores, Nick, have been handed in. He's contributing to the cores by making the RGB cores. Lovely. Nice. Okay, we can do the same trick here where you use like the flowing water, which is good. All right, I have yes. six. I have six Rugaba cores, Nick, ready to go. Nice. Okay. Now we just need to put some, somewhere to put the Rugaba cores, and then we do. We do. Color them appropriately for so, Rugaba shards. I think the good news, Nick, is that the Rugaba lava that we're going to put down, the different colors of lava, they don't, like, the, the 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 good news, I should say, is that all of the nether planks are fireproof. Oh, cool. Okay, so that that's... So we can make good. our area out of whatever the we colored want. colored wood. We've got a lot Absolutely. of these... Yeah, I guess it depends on what we want to do here, Max. We've got a lot of, like, this warp to warp block, but I don't we know how you feel tons. about this. Yeah. Like, I think the, um, lot, the, the planks look better, right? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, the planks, the planks do look better. So maybe uh, we should just get some more, uh, some more. Do you want to go green? Yeah, the, I want to go green. Yeah, let's go green. The crimson one we can we can alternate for somewhere else. Um, there we go. Let me get my my axe. He's got an axe the to only grind. Issue here is uh, yeah that bit. Should I get on? Um, I mean, I think we've got enough, man. So like, I'm oh, thinking. Oh gosh, we got magma cream. Yo. So wait, hold on. Ben, I don't know if you're still here, man. But your information quest line says that um Watch out, it's gonna hurt you. It says nether mobs, guests don't spawn, and so do blazers, zombie pigmen, and piglins spawn naturally. This is a little confusing. Um Oh, I killed it. Oh no, I forgot it does that. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, it splits, man. Okay, I got, I managed right. to get one off the <laughs> off the edge. Nice. Okay. okay. Um so yeah, what I'm thinking, Nick, here, is um do we want to like break? Do we just want to expand, or what's what's the edges made out of? Polished deep slates. Okay, I'm thinking. Oh. I'm thinking about how I want to do this, man. Right? You feel yeah, me? Yeah, we've got. Yeah, we've got some deep slate of how some polished variety. Nineteen in this top chest. Oh, and there's Middle forty in the bottom. If you just craft four together, you can make polished. Oh no, you don't. Never oh, mind. Okay. <laughs> I oh. thought that would polished yeah. deep slate. How do you polish deep slate? Oh, so you have to... Oh, okay. So I think the deep slate is like the stone variant. You put it down. If we get four oh. of them and then break them and pick them up, then that might be able to craft into polished. Oh, right. So you need the cobbled stuff first. Yeah. Right, okay. And then you do this and then you get polished deep slate. So we can make polished deep slate. 
So I'm thinking about like what we do over here, right? I'm thinking, you're do thinking we? Like, you know, do you get rid of these these blocks and do you just go forwards? You like expand. I was thinking of going wider, man. You go wide. Yeah. Also, also true. So how many? We got six. We got of those six lava blocks. RGB cores, which we can turn right. into six lava source blocks. Yes. So you want to go like one, two, three, and then we want four. like at least a one block gap, maybe a more than yes. one block gap between each. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so th thus we w should go wider then. Yeah, um, I'm thinking of like, I don't know if we should be breaking the warp nylium warped. I think we can make more of this. I seem to recall. I think it said something in the first quest line about making this. It says, uh, can be made by right clicking regular netherrack with either nether wart or warped wart. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is netherrack easy to get though? Netherrack comes from. Um, Sifting lava balls, you get. I don't think it's scorched scorched right? rack. Oh, do we? And then you wash it. Do we have and some? And then you get another rack. Uh, I think there should be some in these chests. Uh, scorched think... nether rack. Yeah. So there's two stacks oh. in the middle. And yeah. then we can. But then I what do we do with we that? Just, I assume we just chuck that in here. No, I think that's a. Uh, well, maybe. No, I think that's a final product, right? Oh. Yeah, I don't see. Then it. all the other stuff that's scorched, you can clean. But no, you yeah, can, there's yeah. no. Oh, the thing, there's no way to craft it. You can, you can wash it with create. Like, we can use bulk washing in the future, but for now, I don't know if there's a way to do that. Um, right, which okay. is less than ideal. I'm just mm. thinking, yeah, what are we... What are we What are we doing here, man? What are we What are we thinking? Yeah. I'm thinking of, less. like, blocking off all the lava here and here and kind of just filling in this whole area, if you know just what I mean. Just go wider. Like, yeah, you just go wider, yeah. We'll just, yeah, yeah. Right now, we've got, like, a plus ship, right? I'm thinking of making it into, like, a, a full-on... Uh, were you thinking filling like in the corners, them, basically. Connecting them like here. Connect the dots, yeah. Or connecting them here, right? Okay. Like I'm thinking of getting rid of these. I'm going. I can't help so much of that. But going around like this, right? All right. Here we yeah, go. <laughs> Need to upgrade my pickaxe here. Here we go. Right, and then this one here. Okay. Right. Um, used to be a 19 polished deep slate. Do you have? Did you take the deep slate? Or, oh no, it's there. I see. This is fine. This is fine. So, would you be able to for try and camel milk, man? Yeah, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna look, Isaac. Okay. I'm. Uh, I'm you got a big ass though, like now. Like, yeah. But I'm gonna buy some next time I do a grocery shop, and I'm gonna try it. I'll try it on stream. Yeah, if you got and, a large ass, I, I assume you have got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find some other bits, and I'm just gonna see what what kind. What's the Quirkiest milk I can find, right? Yeah. Um, I've tried quite a few. I've tried rice milk. I think rice milk is pretty good. You recommended me to try rice milk, and I got some once, and it was pretty good. Yeah. 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 I like rice you can milk. tell it comes from rice, but it is nice. Like it's sweet. Yeah. It's got like a nice sweetness to it. Um, I, like it. I assume um, that's what they use in rice pudding as well. I think. Uh, I think hazelnut milk is also one that's quite nice. Hazelnut milk is yeah. I can imagine that being nice if it tastes anything like hazelnut, right? Yeah. Um, so that's that's good. So yeah, lots of choices there. Lots of lots of quote unquote milks. Lots of, lots of milks. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Um, rice based drink, Nick. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, rice based drink. Yeah, <laughs> rice based milk. Can you say milk drink? Uh, do I don't that? think so. No, I don't. Uh, maybe. Yeah. I don't know if you maybe, can say milk know, drink. Right. Um, right. Like like you think like kind of like wine drink or something like. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't think you can. No idea. No I think idea. if it's not the product, you can't you can't say it is yeah, anything exactly. that resembles it, right? So we can try and keep the lava sources here yeah, if you want. Keeping keeping those, yeah, where they are. Like this maybe, and have like these little that looks quite nice actually. Like that, yeah. Here we go, nice. Cat milk. <laughs> Cat milk. Oh gosh. Oh jeez. Oh. No thanks. That I'm alright. I don't want that one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what about the views, man? That's true. If they, the sell views. It, if they sell it at the supermarket, not at the pet shop, <laughs> they sell it at the supermarket. What if they sell it in the pet section, pet of, section the of the supermarket? supermarket. <laughs> I've just put my foot in it, haven't I? <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, that is a way to get views. <laughs> that will certainly be a but, way to get views. The milk that they give to cats is not cat milk, right? I think like if you go to the supermarket and there is milk in the cat food section, I don't think that's cat so milk. We can't, no, that'd be a bit weird, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, I don't think it's milk from cats. Yeah, we should have a look, you know. See what so, they're saying. What, what do you think got. here, man? Do you think we should do like just one, two, yeah, 
three and then move the same on the other side as well. On the side, yeah. Yeah. Draw far like out. That. Let's and then do we'll that. just block these in like this. Okay, so like seven again. One, two, three. Lovely. Yeah. Like nice. That. Okay, so now what we need to do, Nick, is we need to take we need, to, we need to put down lava in all these spaces, right? Mm -hmm. Which is bloody easier said than done, because we actually need... Oh, yeah. um, use the bowls, can we? Um, no, we have to use buckets that we make from wood, but the buckets are bloody single-use, man. Oh, right, Because they see. break in the lava, they right? They are made out of wood. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we've got to grow I these. we sacrifice it, aren't we? Yeah. But it means we need a lot of wood. A lot. Of, it's not even like... It's logs, which is annoying. Oh, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. If it were planks, you know... I was thinking, what's the other about? It's just planks. No, yeah, man. That's a bit, that's tough. No, it's, it's, ah. it's logos. It's a jobby. So is, and is it three or is it like a U shape where it's uses like it's, uh, it's seven. five. Oh, is what's right, needed. okay. Right. It's kind of a pseudo, pseudo U shape. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like a, like a, a long V or something like that. Yeah, exactly. He gets it. Okay. He understands. Um, I need some food, man. I'm, 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 need I'm, some food. I'm hankering food? for some food. There's some Ooh. apples in here. And there's a... Oh, yeah. I've got some carrots. Yeah. You've got salad. Yeah. Okay. You're good. You're good. Okay. So, um... Gosh, I actually need more sticks. Oh, I got sticks. Here you go, man. There's some sticks. Thank you, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. Here we go. Just because the sticks are used to make the saplings. Yeah, yeah. That gets us the wood that keeps the circle going. So, um, if you want to get the dyes here, Nick, so like orange lava needs orange dye, which is red and yellow, right? Okay, okay. So, and where's red's been coming from? Is that from the beets? Yes, two oh, beets makes one red. Okay, lovely. Let's do that. Uh, oh, yes, okay. I need to use this dye time. All right. One, two. I feel like I, made, I did make black dye, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, so we should have black dye already. All right, beats. We do. Nice. All right, Nick, black lava. Oh, he's not done. I need to put the RGB core in, of course. Um, did I put my RGB cores away? I did. Orange dye. Okay, black lava. Oh, orange dye, did you say? Yes. You used two carrots. There we oh, go. Look at Lovely. That. Um, okay. I then need a lime as well, which I'm uh, working on now. That's fine. Lime is, is that green and white, is I it? I do have green and white on me, yeah. Okay, cool. I've got one green, I don't need white. So we've got orange, we've got lime. Okay, if you want to come drop the orange in like the middle one over here. Yeah. Actually, no, drop it in the end one, this this far one. Nice. Lovely. So then we'll do brown in the middle, so we need brown dye, which is right. two, it's four sawdust and a black dye, and the black dye is just the uh, those pebbles, those scotch pebbles from earlier. Oh, right, okay. I see that. Oh, one of these is just red dye, which I think um, we don't have. Oh, we just get from the beets, yeah, right? right. I've got three beets, so I'll grab the... Uh, oh, I've got it, man. Don't you worry. Okay, if you can get you the uh, the sawdust... It should be hanging about Does that somewhere. need... You have to make it, I think. Uh, yeah. We, I need to hammer something, don't I, for the sawdust? I think it's just planks, though, which is is maybe good. Oh, uh, yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. You just put the planks on the cutting board and then right-click with the hammer. Okay, sweet. Let's do that. I got my hammer on me. Yes, I do. All oh, right. It's hammer in time, man. Hammer in time. Boom. Sawdust. Okay. And then let's have a brown. You think we just need to start a separate YouTube channel, man, where we go around the world and try weird foods? I think we do. I think we do. Oh, we, we could get into TV doing that, man. Like that. <laughs> That's true. Should we go, should we go to, talk to TLC, maybe? <laughs> See if we'll yeah, like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> TLC is such the, the perfect <laughs> channel for it, isn't it? <laughs> like, like... E-list celebrities <laughs> going and doing weird things. <laughs> at that point, like I don't want to dismiss anybody, but at that point, at I don't even think they're celebrities. Be a YouTuber, right? But I think that they're, oh, less, we're not celebrities. they're less celebrities. They're more just like people who can talk on camera, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but that's fine. That's all. That's all we are, right? That's, that's, what, that's what exactly. Camera, yeah. That's what you need. That's what you need. That's all you need in this day and age, man. Exactly. Oh yes. Oh I'm yes. Ready. God, this mortar and pestle is there. Nice. It's coming in clutch for all kinds, isn't it? There we go. I like that you don't have to activate it either. As soon as it's got the right amount of things, it just goes. It just does your work for you. Do you have um, lime dye? 
Oh no, I'm I making lime die. Here we go. Never mind. Okay. I got it. Uh, oh no, so I don't we need black and so for brown. Let's have a look. Do you need yellow by any chance or green? Because I've got them. I can't take what's in here out. Uh oh. Do you see anything in there? There you go. Oh. Yeah, I'll take it out. But do I put them back in? It's just uh, I put in we... white dye and light green dye. Oh, did I put bone meal in? Oh, you did. Yeah. Uh, do you have a bone meal by any chance? I do have a bone meal. Oh, yeah. if you put two bone meal in there. Oh, because I've got the one. Oh, that's um, what I'm saying. I need, we need a second one. Right. Okay. That comes from <laughs> is that calcite? calcite. Yeah, but it's more right. bloody sieve lava throwing. Cal yeah, God. <laughs> more balls in the ocean, man. Oh, all right. Here we go. Uh, do I have that thingy in my offhand? No, I don't. There it is. Okay, man, you're going to need an entire season for Norway and Sweden alone. That's true. You guys got some weird foods up there, man. Yeah, you guys have got some mental foods. You guys have got some foods that will make me throw up. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's like, good television is, though, man. Oh, unfortunately. No, that's the issue. <laughs> oh, like Sustroming, which is like the the rotten fish, mm. right? Like the aged yeah. fish. And it's meant to be, that's the stuff that's not allowed on many airlines, right? It's not yeah, allowed right. on planes because it smells so bad if it breaks for any reason and then the other ones the there's one this is not norway and um finland but like um the uh is it the it, it's the fruit it's the, it's the durian the stinky oh, durian yeah sure, sure. yeah yeah that apparently that stuff smells like ass man like, that stuff smells terrible um so yeah yeah there's another one could you put your oh no we're good yeah i'm just gonna could you drop the the cactus in here uh, yeah, the, uh, the, the green, green dye. dye. Yeah, yeah. Once yeah. this is done, there you go. Just right click that in. Oh, I guess we've got them now. Go. And the white uh, dye that you've just taken. And the white, yeah. There nice. Okay, go. Nick, Lovely. we are pretty much good to go here. Sweet. I just need to craft the brown stuff, but I've got everything I need, I think, for that. Yeah. Yeah? Where's my pebbles? There they are. Where are my pebbles? Where are my pebbles? All right, black dye. All right. Let me just double check that um, brown. Oh, there's only five. I thought there were six here. I'm losing my mind, man. There's only five lavas. <laughs> oh. I made six, but there's only five. Oh. There's red, green, black, brown, and an orange. We got one extra. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So actually, that okay, brown. Well, just, that's just a, a free lava source for one time use, Isaac. <laughs> we can turn that into like one of the waters or something like that, right? I've got yeah. brown. Where's the All side? right. Come and drop that over here, man, between these nice. two. Here you go. Nice. nice. Okay. So now, Nick. What? Careful, man. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> but now, boom, coal shard. Boom, nickel oh. shard. Boom, I some copper shard. And then over here, we've already done the lime one. With the red one, we get the iron shard. And and yeah, that's, that's all of it, man. We've, we've got one of every single shard. So oh. next time, we can come back. We can start making copper ingots, nickel ingots, you know, coal, zinc, iron, and... I think that, because uh, we're basically at the end of the first, like, chapter, right? I think we right. can probably get this chapter challenge done, right? If we go get some more yeah. shards. Oh, yeah, 100%. If we go get some more shards, we can get the copper, nickel, iron, and zinc super easily, uh, killing the more lava monsters to get that will complete the task in and of itself, and then it's just getting the organic stuff, uh, the 32 of the apples, carrots, beets, potatoes, sugarcane, uh, kelp, and cactus, and then boom, we'll complete chapter one and the challenges, get the magnet that's going to get getting more shards easier, and then it looks like from there we're going to move into some quote unquote real mods, Nick. I see immersive engineering. Mm. I see create. I see whatever the heck this mod is. Um, oh, it's also create. Interesting. But no, I see even more mods. I see combat machines as well, which is very interesting. Oh, and, and, uh, and quite okay. a few more moving down, Nick. Of course, everyone's favorite hostile neural networks, HNN, of is here as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. There it others, is. Uh, uh, what was the all well, used to be called? I've lost my mind. Yeah, it used to be called Deep Mob Deep Learning. Deep Mob Learning. DML. DML, of course, of course. Uh, but unfortunately, Nick, we are out of time for this episode of Cryptopolis. Oh.